Um, so with that, I can uh, move on to the next uh, you know, main topic of the day, which is our fully self-hosted uh, Pixie install. And uh, we won't be doing the demo on this, but you know, this is one of the issues, uh, issue number 238 actually in our repo, uh, which has gotten a fair amount of, uh, fair, fair amount of attention. Uh, so it's something that we've you know, prioritized pretty highly on our list. Um, and you know, currently with Pixie, there's, there's basically two different uh, you know, ways of, of working with Pixie. The first one is a community cloud for Pixie, which is basically a free forever cloud hosted by New Relic. And you know you can you can basically utilize that get all the features inside of Pixie. It's it's basically our open source version of Pixie that's that's hosted. Um, however, if you want to use Pixie completely by yourself, um, you can host a version of Pixie Cloud on your own infrastructure. Um, this is you know honestly this is still a little bit of a work in progress. Uh, so we're still trying to test out uh, you know different configurations. Uh, you know, but please feel free to to give it a try uh, by following the instructions over here. And, um, uh, you know, let us know if you have any feedback. And there are a couple of known issues that are documented in the issue tracker. Uh, but other than that, it should be, should be good to use um, starting now. Uh, with that, I'll let Weehong take it over and do a demo. Okay, um, let me just share my screen. Okay, so um, I have done a few live demos in the past, but uh, instead of having to make everyone wait through watching a Kubernetes deploy, I, I took some time this morning to just record this demo out, uh, but I'll, I'll walk us through it uh, and sort of uh, show you how, how you can deploy Pixie Cloud today. Um, so while the entire source code of Pixie is open source, we also took the additional step of making pre-built images for all of our uh, cloud jobs available. Uh, so you don't actually really have to build anything right now. Um, so this assumes that you have uh, Pixie's open source repo checked out um, and you have, uh, we, we tested the demo on GKE, uh, which is our current uh, de deployment environment for Pixie Cloud. Uh, and we'd love to see uh, community feedback on whether it works elsewhere. And we, we're happy to help make it work elsewhere too. Um, so for the demo, we just want to create a namespace for um, Pixie Cloud to run in. Uh, we have a little script that creates a few secrets uh, and deploys them to that namespace. Um, so these secrets are sort of things like um, session cookies or JWT signing keys and some TLS certs. Um, after which uh, we need to deploy the dependencies for uh, Pixie Cloud to run. Um, so this set of YAMLs uh, will bring up Elastic, Nats and Stan and Postgres. Um, we use Elastic to, for indexing, Nats and Stan for messaging and Postgres is the DB for Pixie Cloud. Um, you have to wait a little bit for all of these deployments to stabilize. Um, and hopefully that happens quickly. And then once these deployments are stabilized and ready to go, we can uh, continue forward with deploying the rest of Pixie Cloud. Um, so now that our deployments are good um, for our dependencies, uh, we can go ahead and deploy the rest of Pixie Cloud. Um, and that's another set of uh, YAMLs built by Customize. Um, and this brings up the rest of the Pixie services. Um, now, this Pixie Cloud is running on GKE, so we need um, sort of a DNS setup. Uh, we have a little tool that we use internally uh, called Dev DNS Updater. Um, so you can just build that Go tool. Uh, and then it will update the Etsy hosts on your machine to point to the, uh, to the IP address for the Pixie Cloud running uh, on your Kubernetes environment. Um, so you can just build that tool quickly and use it uh, with the given flags and that will update the DNS entries on your host machine. Um, and then as part of Pixie Cloud, we wanted to uh, reduce dependencies on uh, some of the vendor stuff we use like OAuth. So instead we are using uh, 
Hydra and Kratos from Ori uh, to do all of our user uh, user management and do like username and password based login. So as part of that process, we create a singular admin user when you first deploy Pixie. Um, to set up the password for the admin user, you want to find the create admin job uh, and we will get logs for the admin job. Uh, and the logs will give you a recovery link to reset the password for this admin account. Um, so we'll just go to that, set a, set a nice password for our admin account. Um, and that is Pixie Cloud running. At this point, we can use the Pixie CLI. Um, so uh, since this is your own Pixie Cloud, the Pixie CLI will now want to talk to that cloud and not want to phone not want to talk to our uh, publicly hosted, our Pixie hosted cloud. Um, so you need to export this environment variable. Um, and then the CLI can log in. Uh, and then we use the admin user and the password we set. Um, note that once, once you have this admin user set up, you can uh, go ahead and create, uh, uh, this admin user can go ahead and create accounts for other people uh, on the same instance of Pixie Cloud and send them uh, links, uh, recovery links to finish setting up their own accounts too. Uh, but for now, we'll just continue using this admin user. Um, and then we'll go ahead and deploy uh, Pixie itself into the same cluster pointing to this Pixie Cloud. Um, so this is deploying uh, Pixie's Vizier uh, objects to the same Pixie Cloud. Uh, and once the Pixie deployment uh, stabilizes, uh, we can quickly use the CLI uh, and uh, test out running uh, Pixel scripts. And then as you can see, um, we're, we can now get output from Pixie running on this local development version of Pixie Cloud uh, and talking to the Pixie uh, deployed in that cloud. Um, Yep, uh, as, as Zane mentioned earlier, uh, there's a couple of, uh, this is still a work in progress and we're trying to smoothen out the edges as much as possible. There's a small bug with the, uh, C, uh, with the UI right now, uh, which we're in the process of fixing. So you will be able to also access the UI just like you did with the live CLI here. Um, 